Aren't they cute? My fat little babies have eaten them all selves into food comas. If you look closely over here, you know, there are nibble marks. It looks like <clears throat> someone's taking tiny little bites out of it. So they have been eating. It was a little nerve wracking because I had to let this enclosure over here, which is still full of caterpillars, um, run out of food. And they were just nibbling on the sticks. And then I put them in here among the other sticks and they, they climbed and it was fresh. You have to give them fresh cut squash. So it was kind of, you know, bleeding almost. And they walked right off the, the old crusty leaves and onto the fresh squash. And then they all started eating immediately. And now they slowed down because, you know, you take breaks, but they found their food source. So they're not running around. If they're running around, they look like little stallions and it's cute, but it means that they're like looking for food. So you'd think that they kind of slow down, but it's kind of the opposite. Like they, they start to really speed up and it's um, <clears throat> kind of scary looking. But uh, yeah, you learn how to read their behavior. This is These are content, happy caterpillars. Some of them are still um, eating the remains of the leaves. Like, if I were to take these guys really carefully, I'm going to pick up the leaf. Oops. Oh, man, it stinks because they all just fell off. But uh, this is the right way to move caterpillars, everybody. That's how you move caterpillars without hurting anybody. So I put them with the others. Um... And they will, once they finish that leaf, they will see the other caterpillars. They'll say, hey, I want some of that food. And then they'll, they'll join in. Um, and I'm going to continue adding food to this enclosure. And the caterpillars will climb onto the food. And then I will move them into the next enclosure. Uh, set up with this lollipop stick holder, which is made out of wood. So it's basically a tree. Um, with squash. So technically squash are vines and I have grown squash up, you know, so if you, They'll eat your squash, you know Farmers used to kill caterpillars because they would destroy their gardens over here are my painted ladies laying eggs on burdock and They are drinking on the feeders. You can see that's how they stay alive They're drinking nectar off the feeders and if you want to see how I made that it's in another video Here's my sherry baby orchid in bloom. We've got a fowl in water culture. Um, Topo Chico, a Rinkolelia glauca. This one's water culture doing well. This one wasn't doing well, started drying out, lost its roots. They both have new growths. This one's got new growth. Again, wow, it smells like vanilla and chocolate put together. Isn't that beautiful? I love my orchid. Behind them is the monarch enclosure, which does have a swallowtail, the last of a batch from a dear friend, shout out, Black Swallowtail Mama, who gave me her eggs. Um, there are some dead over here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to give them to her so she can pin them for fun. Um, so I got to be really careful not to shut the phone off and restart the video. I want to keep it in one video. But I'm going to show you guys the way that I'm feeding the butterflies in here because I know everyone's going to ask me about it. So first of all, there's about 30 monarchs in here. And I don't want to open the netting too big because I've got fans going in here. And if they get out, they're going to get cut up. So this one's drinking on a, I think I got this from Nature Valley or something like that. Uh, the one with the paint, it's for painted ladies. And it actually looks kind of dry. These actually, oh crap, a monarch got out. Excuse me, everybody. I gotta be really careful right now. Okay. That's how you get a butterfly. Whew, you gotta be really careful. I'm closing it on my head. Um, there's my swallowtail. She's a beauty. 
Um, that monarch is drinking, if I were to touch it, that sweat to the touch, that sweat to the touch. Um, mine are wet, these are dry, so it's good that mine are in here, so. I'm sorry, I just, I haven't found a butterfly feeder that works as good as mine do. And you can see how freaking happy they are. But look, really closely, look, the wings are not broken. And they're mating in the corner. This is every day. Um, I have dehydrated, but it's still alive. Milkweed with eggs on it. They're hanging out. This one's dried up, but it's still alive too. Um, in sand and water. But I've used marbles too. Um, those are just in water. And I also have dead, like the leaves are dead now, but they were in flower tubes. Those are covered in eggs too. So, happy butterflies. This is another butterfly feeder with paper towels. Does not work as good as mine now. Um, I've got lots of green um, gloves in here because they like to walk on them. But again, they're using the feeders. They're using my feeders. Right now, he's using my feeder and he's drinking. And they're mated, so. <clears throat> pray, pray, pray. What else do I want to show you really quick? This is more milkweed covered in eggs. Burdock covered in eggs. Burdock covered in eggs. Um, these are two day old painted lady caterpillars. There's a lot of them. And I've only got like a minute left. Ooh. Here's another painted lady enclosure covered in baby caterpillars. Those are one day old. Those are eggs that are gonna hatch any day now. Um, and then those are covered in eggs, so they're gonna hatch too. If I were to show you, oh my goodness, I left this open the whole time. But they don't, they, they know where their food is, so they're not gonna run out. The only problem is um, the, the AC is running on them, so it's gonna dehydrate. So I'm gonna spritz it all with water right now and shut off the AC. Um, Cause it's gonna have to get a little more humid in here, which will be uncomfortable for me, but good for them. Anyways, I'm gonna chop this up and do another enclosure. Have a good day. See you later. Bye. Love you. Isn't my room a mess? I'll clean it up for you. Bye.